A tail stand is a device used to stabilize the tail of an aircraft when it's parked on the ground. The stand is placed beneath the tail during loading and unloading to prevent instability. Without a tail stand, some aircraft could tip longitudinally, especially as weight shifts. Tail stands are a fairly straightforward concept. Fixed beneath the tail, they work as a sort of crutch to stabilize an aircraft's tail and prevent it from tipping. Some of them are simple poles, while others use a tripod design. These are used while an aircraft is being loaded or unloaded when the plane is most at risk of an imbalance. Whether this entails cargo or passengers, the shifting weight distribution on an aircraft can have costly consequences if the tail impacts the ground. Aircraft operators are fully aware of this and follow the appropriate loading and unloading procedures. A tail stand can work as a failsafe that adds an extra layer of security. It's the responsibility of both airlines and airport handlers to determine whether or not a tail stand is needed. Airlines will call for one if required and often carry their own stand on their planes. Tail sitting is when a plane's tail tips downwards due to a shift in weight, leaving it sitting on the ground. While this might not sound like a big deal, it can cause airlines expensive delays, not to mention possible damage to the tail and the possibility of human injury. Back in September, a United Airlines Boeing 737-900 tipped onto its tail after landing at Lewiston Airport. The aircraft carrying the USC Trojans college football team tipped back after ground crew failed to attach a tail stand during offloading. According to reports, half the team was still on the aircraft at the moment of imbalance. This incident occurred even after United introduced its own tail stands for its 737-900 fleet back in 2016 after a series of tail-sitting incidents. United said in a statement, due to a shift in weight and balance during the offloading process, the tail of the aircraft tipped backward. Given the differences in the structural design of the various aircraft types worldwide, some planes are more at risk of tail-sitting than others. For example, stretched planes like the Boeing 737-800 and Dash 900 are known to be at increased risk of this phenomenon, forcing airlines to adopt more careful loading and unloading procedures. Freighter aircraft are also prone to tail sitting and will use tail stands more frequently than most passenger planes. Operators and ground handlers must be meticulously detailed in their loading and unloading calculations to avoid tail sitting. Have you ever seen or experienced a tail sitting incident for yourself? We'd love to hear about it. Share your story by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.